This guide shows you how to manually copy photographs or pictures from your iPhone, iPad or iPod. Now you may need to have iTunes installed to be able to do this, but it's worth trying it without installing it if you haven't got it installed in the first place. It may well work. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder to put our pictures inside. So probably the best place to put this is inside the pictures folder. Um, to get to that, we can either click on this yellow icon down here, or we can click the start button and we can click file explorer. Then on the left hand side here, we should see pictures. So click on pictures, that's two clicks. Then we click new folder at the top here and we give our folder a new name. So uh, it's these pictures are coming from my iPad. So I'm going to call it perhaps pictures from iPad. Uh, perhaps put the, the date in as well, the month and the year. November 2016. You can call this whatever you like. If all the pictures that you're going to be transferring are to do with a, an occasion or a holiday, you can give it the, 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 the name of the occasion or the holiday. Okay, so press enter or return on your keyboard to uh, accept that uh, folder name. Now, you might notice that when you plug in your iPad or iPod or iPhone, it might allow, uh, say to you, do you want to allow this computer to access the information on your iPad. So it's okay to say continue to this. Um, okay, you might also see a similar message on your iPad. So sign into your iPad. And if you do see a message like this that says, trust this computer, um, you, your settings and data will be accessible from this computer when connected. So press trust on the iPad. <clears throat> Hopefully after a few moments this uh, message yet yeah, should disappear. Okay so if iTunes has uh, has opened up um, then just close it down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner and close the pictures window down for the moment. Okay now we need to click on either the yellow folder again or File Explorer. Okay, and then we need to click on this PC. And we're actually looking somewhere in here for um, the iPad or the iPod or the iPhone. If the iPad doesn't appear under devices and drivers, then first of all, just try unplugging the iPad from the computer and plugging it back in again. As you can see here, we've got Chris's iPad. So I just double click on that. That's a left click, two clicks. And then we double click internal storage. And then we double click on DSIM. And then we double click 100 Apple. Now here are all the pictures on the iPad. Now, if we click on large icons just at the top here, that will give us a preview of all of our photos. Um, now, I've just uh, put it on the large icon view. There's a few pictures in here that uh, I can copy over. So I just clicked on the word large icons up there. And as you can see, it's given us some, some thumbnails of the pictures. Now, if we want to uh, select certain pictures to be copied across, we can hold down the CTRL key. And whilst we've got that held down, we can just click the photos that we want to copy across to the computer. These here with the, uh, the little film holes are um, videos so uh, and and these without the film holes on the side are pictures okay so what I've done now is I've just selected all the pictures that I want to copy and I've let go of the control key 
Okay, now I just move my mouse over any one of those photos that I want to, uh, to copy across to the computer and I click the right mouse button. That's the right mouse button. Then I move my mouse down to the word copy and click the left mouse button. That's the left mouse button. Okay, now I need to go back to pictures just here on the left hand side. So left click pictures and I double left click pictures from iPad November 2016. This is the folder I uh, created earlier. Now anywhere in this blank space here, I right click, that's a right click, and then I move my mouse down to paste and I left click the word paste, not paste shortcut, paste. And then you'll see the pictures now going across to the computer. You can repeat this as uh, many times as you like if you've got different pictures from different events or occasions or holidays then uh, you can just keep repeating this. Um, just a word of, of advice though, you can't delete any photos um, from the iPad via your computer and you can't copy photos onto the iPad from your computer, i.e. you can't reverse this process. The iPad is very well protected. Um, the only way you can delete um, pictures from the iPad is actually from the iPad it's, uh, itself. Um, but anyway, hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching.